Hello everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In a video that you are about to watch, it's a time-lapse video. It's gonna go from start to finish on how I painted this awesome vintage mirror that was given to me free, free, uh, from start to finish how I restored this mirror. Now, mirrors are fairly easy to paint. They are, pretty straightforward. They are time consuming and the reason why they're time consuming is the prep work involved and then the after work after you pull your tape up. So a couple supplies that you will need when you paint a mirror. You're going to need frog tape, okay? It's the green tape. You can get this at any of your hardware stores. You can order it on Amazon. Um, you're going to want to tape around your mirror area around here. Curves can be difficult <laughs> if you don't have a straight square mirror. Um, so these arches, I really had to pull little pieces of um, tape at a time and make sure it was um, protected. Sometimes, I didn't do it on this piece, but sometimes I'll add like paper, just scratch paper, um, and I will tape paper to the mirror part here as well because sometimes your paint splatters and the more that you can protect that mirror surface while you paint the better so frog tape is a must okay also what you'll need um, for after when you pull the tape off you're gonna need a small razor blade or a larger razor blade whatever one you prefer what happens unfortunately sometimes when you pull your frog tape off after you're all done painting your mirror it sometimes will pull uh, the paint up inside around your frame and what you'll want to do is get just like a small detail brush like this and just take your paint and then just touch up those areas it happens all the time to me I'm just prepared for it so don't freak out when you pull your tape up if it takes some of the paint off with it in just some spots just touch it up and you're good to go so you'll need razor blades as well on this piece I'm gonna go through right now how I refinished it so while you're watching this time-lapse you know what's going on so the first thing I did on this vintage mirror it was just an old gaudy gold color <laughs> I just I did not like it it screamed like the 70s early 80s to me so what I did first was is I painted it white I used just some white paint that I had laying around I kind of used that as my primer and then I used Wise Owl Gray Linen. It's a chalk synthesis paint. I love this paint. It dries super fast. Um, I did a review on this paint not too long ago. If you're curious about it, go watch that video. I'll put the link below. Um, and then I'll also put a link below if you'd like to order this color. I love this color. It's called Gray Linen. Works great on a lot of projects. It's like a medium shade gray. So then I painted um, the, this mirror. Um, some of the gray linen okay after I did that I went over and I just lightly lightly distressed some of the ornate areas um, and I used a felt block with 400 grit sandpaper that's a very very fine sandpaper and just lightly feather sanded around those ornate areas then after that I applied liming wax I don't believe I have the liming wax on the time-lapse video that's okay I applied it all over and then I buffed because I wanted some of that white color just to kind of you'll see it around I'll do close-up photos afterwards the liming wax got caught like in the crevices of this ornate area and it kind of gives it like a marbled look which I was going for so I really liked what the liming wax did and then the last piece that I did which I was on the fence is I applied rub and buff silver metallic to all the little ornate areas around the border here up here along the frame and it just added enough pizzazz without being too much so you guys are going to check this out how i refinished this mirror in a time lapse video enjoy
watching me transform this mirror behind me. I'm gonna include some close up after photos. Biscuit and I, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to it. I try to post weekly new videos on all things involving antique and vintage furniture restoration. You're gonna find my subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. It is a red button, just click on it. And then every time I post a new video, you will be notified. So like we always say here, Biscuit, what do we say? We say toodaloo. We say toodaloo and thank you again for watching.